hi guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to discuss the complete solution for readers writers problem so guys why i call this solution as complete because in this solution there is no starvation for the readers and there is no starvation for the writers so guys for the full video all of you stay tuned karen jeckley live so guys here we have the algorithm for the readers writers problem and uh, here we have some variables okay so this is my database class this is my database class and in my database class i have four different variables one is readers which is initialized to zero okay so i'll put their values here okay so then i have a writing variable boolean variable writing which is initially false okay then i have another variable called as waiting writers which is also initialized to zero then i have fourth variable that tells me about readers turn initially that is also false so guys right now right now we do not have any readers and we do not have any writers which want to read or write this database okay now guys suppose now there is one reader we call him as r1 so this reader wants to do read operation on the database so when r1 comes it will call his methods as acquire read so this is the method method which they call before they start doing the read operation so here we have a condition while writing is true so writing is not true writing is false okay or waiting writers is greater than zero so waiting writer is also not greater than zero and not of readers turn so readers turn is false so not of readers turn will be true okay so one false and one true will make this whole statement as false so it will skip all the way from here till here so what r1 will do it will increment the readers it will increment the readers and it will start reading so now what is oh, 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 so what is the readers count it will become one so this by mistake i did deleted it and it will start reading the database it will start reading the database okay now while r1 is reading now suppose we have another writer w1 so which wants to acquire the write operation which wants to acquire the write on the database so when w1 comes it will call its method as acquire write okay so then here it will check the condition while reader count is greater than zero or writing no writing is false writing is false but reader count is greater than zero this is true so true or false will gives you a true so then what do you go you go here increment the waiting writers so make this as one and you wait and you wait now what is happening r1 is reading w1 is waiting w1 is waiting okay now this is how it is going on okay now suppose after some time so we have another reader r2 which wants to read the database which wants to read the database so then what r2 will do r2 will also call the acquire read method so it will check while writing so writing is false okay or waiting writer is greater than zero so here waiting writer is one it is greater than zero so this is true and not of readers turn and not of readers turn so readers turn is false not of readers turn is true okay so here what we have we have one true this one is false false or true will make the total output as true so true and true so this whole statement becomes true so while all the statement becomes true so this is where you jump you jump to wait so what r2 has to do r2 has to 
wait so why r2 has to wait because there is already one writer which is waiting to do the write operation okay so r2 cannot do the read so this will prevent the starvation of writers this will prevent the starvation of writers now guys suppose after some time suppose after some time r1 has finished r1 has finished reading r1 has finished reading so what happens is so when when r1 finishes reading so let us delete this also when r1 finished reading so what it will do it will call its release read method okay so what it will do minus minus reader make me the reader count to minus minus set readers turn to false readers turn is already false okay if readers is equal to zero then notify if reader count is equal to zero then notify all so they will get a signal they will get a signal all the processes which are waiting so they will get a signal so both will wake up and both will try to acquire the database both will try to acquire the database now suppose in this situation in this situation first r2 tries again first r2 tries again again it will come here it will call as acquire read method so it will check while writing is true no writing is not true it is false so when this is false so all this condition becomes false so then what he has to do r2 has to wait r2 has to wait now what now w1 will try okay so r2 is waiting so w1 will try writer 1 will try so what happens is when writer 1 tries it will call its method as acquire write so here it will check the condition while reader count is greater than 0 no it is not greater than 0 it is 0 it is 0 so it is not greater than 0 so this is false and while writing is also false so false or false will give you a false false or false will give you a false so we will jump all the way from here to here so decrement the waiting writers count minus minus writing so this will become zero okay and set writing is equal to true so now the writing will become true the writing will become true so this will start writing this will start writing now w1 is writing and r2 is waiting w1 is writing and r2 is waiting now suppose there is another writer w2 who wants to do read or who wants to do the write on the database so when this comes while this is already writing so it will call its method as acquire write so again while reader count is more than zero now reader count is not more than zero so this is false okay or writing now what is writing writing is true writing is true so true or false gives you true so what you do increment waiting writers and you wait so what waiting writers new value will be new value will be one and w2 will wait w2 will wait okay now suppose guys after some time w1 has finished writer one has finished so when he has finished it will call his method as release write so what this method will do it will set writing to false so let us get the eraser it will set writing to false and readers turn to true so writing to false and reader turn to true and reader turn to true then notify all so then again they get a signal notify all so let us assume r2 calls as acquire read method okay so here it will check while writing okay so what is the value of writing writing is false writing is false or waiting writer or waiting writer 
is more than zero so waiting writer is more than zero so this is true and not of readers turn so readers turn is true so this becomes false so one false and a true okay so this whole thing becomes false so you jump all the way from here to here so what you do is you increment the readers count readers one one and you start reading and you start reading so reader will r2 will start doing the read so this is this will avoid the readers starvation this will avoid the readers starvation okay now after suppose after some time r2 has finished r2 has finished again it will call his release read okay so what it will do minus minus reader so readers will become zero set readers turn to false set readers turn to false and notify all again they will get signal so then w2 writer 2 will wake up and it will call its acquire write so if while a reader target reader count is more than zero so reader count is not more than zero so this is false or writing writing is also false or writing is also false so we will jump all the way from here to here minus waiting writer and set writing is equal to true so waiting writer zero and now the writing is true and w2 is doing the right so guys if you observe in this algo so both get the fair share both readers and writers they get the fair share by these additional variables we have readers star and we have waiting writers so if the number of waiting writers is more than zero or it is one or more than one so then the system will give them chance so it will ask the readers to wait and it will give the chance to writers to write and in case so we have readers turn which is true so it means some reader wants to read so then the system will ask the writers to wait and it will give the chance to readers so guys that's all in this so i hope i made myself clear so guys if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned